everyone, so for today, we will be unboxing this Radio Master Zoro. It is a multi-protocol remote controller. And for our case, we got the ELRS system. Okay. You can also have the CC2500 or the 4-in-1, as you can see in this box. What we got is the ELRS because I'm a bit fa a fan of the ELRS system because it's really small and yet it has a very long range and right now it's really really a it's getting a the adoption is really getting great okay let's look at the features of the Zorro okay uh, the dimension the, the grams is 350 it supports 2.4 gigahertz to 2.480 gigahertz yeah you have different options for your uh, radio transmitter no you can have the CC2500 the 4-in-1 or the ELRS okay you can also add your own modules if you want okay uh, the power is 20 dBm for the CC2500 and 4-in-1 meanwhile for the ELRS it is 24 dBm maximum okay the antenna gain is around 2 db and the current is around 160 mah for that the two uh configuration meanwhile the 400 milliamp for the elrs at 250 milliwatt okay you have your 6.6 .6 to 8.4 volt dc the distance is approximately up to two kilometers you have your open TX and edge TX compatibility. You have 16 maximum channels to control. You also have an LCD screen. Ah, it's too long, okay? And you have two, you need two 18350 batteries, okay? I already have two batteries, so just for this uh, controller, and it has USB Type-C, okay? The gimbals is Hall Effect already so you won't have to worry about your gimbals getting destroyed because potentiometer really doesn't last that long okay let's open up the box okay doesn't open that easily okay my advice for you if you are a beginner try not to uh, cheap out when it comes to your radio transmitter especially on your goggles as well because that two items would last you up to your probably you're old enough to for this hobby because if you will cheap out in your transmitter or your goggles you will easily outgrow it and you will eventually buy another thing uh, goggles or another set of controllers wherein the price will just stock up when it comes to drone probably you could buy the a used drone because it could really crack open and it's really uh, disposable and it will always be destroyed <laughs> especially if you go flying acrobatics all the time the drone will always be easily replaced compared with the remote controller or your models okay so you got this quick start guide um, nothing fancy if you try to research on this radio master really make right now those very very good remote controllers especially the tx16s but the problem with that it is too expensive this one is almost half the price of a tx16s if you get it on sale probably up to one third of the price okay so you got your remote controller here you got your usb type c some connectors for the battery and screen protector for the screen okay let's set this aside why do you have this uh why do you have this strap because you can this remote control 
can work with a 2S battery, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, that you can place here at the bottom and strap it, then you place the connector there, okay? So I tried to <laughs> advance the video to that portion already. But let's look at this device so we can appreciate how good it is, okay? So this is the Radio Master Zoro. Look at that. It has a matte finish. And there's a logo here, Radio Master. It's embossed. And it's a bit, uh, I think, yeah, it's rough. You have the Zoro logo here and your speaker. Uh, you have some uh, buttons here. And you have your gimbals. Okay. My first impression is that it's big enough but not that big let's look at my beta fpv so this is the beta fpv radio controller and as you can see here as you can see here they have the same size almost and the radio master is just a bit bigger and thicker because of this uh, LCD screen. So why would you upgrade from this one to this one? As you can see here, you only have four switches at the top part of this controller. Meanwhile, with the Radio Master, you have four switches. You have two uh, sliding switch. You have momentary switches here. You also have, uh, I think this is a momentary switch as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure of what you all, what you call sliding. I think it's sliding uh, switches. See, there are a lot of things you can do with this controller compared with this one that it has a limited number of slots. Although, I'm not saying that this is a bad controller. This is well enough if you will just fly your drones. But the problem is, as you can see here, I do put a lot of things on my switches. Because of this configuration, it just have four switch here. I cannot put the air mode on any switch, any, on any of these switches because this would be reserved for my air armed and disarmed. So, I on the other hand, I, I use one of the switches for changing the rates because I'm used to uh, slow rates when I'm indoors and I adjust to a higher rate when I'm outside, my rate profile, okay? So, with this one, I can assign that to probably here on this, mo uh, on this uh, sliding uh, but, uh, switch or probably on one of these uh, two-way switches. Oh, it's just okay. So the first, the top part switch, uh, too many to tackle with this uh, <laughs> controller. So at the top part, there are three switches, three-way switches. Okay, but the bottom part are just two-way switch. Okay, your sliding can yeah, uh, there are no indent. Uh, there is a small indent to know that it is the uh, mid mid button, but with the slide slider, there are no feedback if you're already at the half part of the slider. Now you can all, you can have this momentary switches. It is, it is called A and D, so you can put something in there. I'll probably put uh, air mode in this in, in one of the switches because I don't like to use air mode, especially when I'm flying indoors. So now, let's look at the best part of this uh, remote controller, which is the gimbal. As you can see, the gimbal has a good size. And this is already a HAL effect gimbal, so you won't 
You won't uh, make it as a problem later on. Meanwhile, this beta FPV, you can hear the some crackling inside. But this one, it just glides through. And it's a bit. Uh, okay, let's put it side by side. What, what I'm trying to tell you is that the from zero to one hundred of the throttle, it's longer compared with this F beta FPV. For example. Let's glide it uh, at the same at same rate. So I already reached hundred here on my beta FPV, but on the radio master, it's not yet. I still have a bit room to move. So what I'm trying to point out is that uh, the radio master Zoro has longer. Uh, travel for the gimbal so that your movement will be really really precise tension of the spring is really good okay since i am a thumb pincher so i'm a hybrid this feels natural in the hand and i really like how grippy it is okay Let's look at the interface more. Uh, you have the, here a selection. You have this uh, uh, sliding mechanism here. You have your system button, return button, page, right, page, left. You have your tele, I'm not sure what that means, and MDL. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure on what those terms mean, mean because I'm just a... Uh, newbie here in this hobby okay so at the bottom you have your type C and your a different port for your battery so you can also bring something uh, like an extra battery to run this uh, remote control at the top you have here your uh, two a headphone jack I think I'm not sure this is um, a 3.5 as well but there are no indicator you have a micro SD uh, you have a whoa 200 uh, it's just 256 megabytes so just for firmware updates and you have your USB type C you also have a room for an external antenna here you can remove the cap okay but we will not do so because we're not we will not use it probably okay Let's close it up. You can have also a nano module here. So for your crossfire, if you have those, or any digital system that you have, you can place it here. And use an external module. Okay. You have, oh, you also have an extra momentary buttons at the back. Too many buttons here. H and G. So you can use it as well. Okay. So we will put some batteries so that we can open it up. This this one did not came with any batteries, but you will need two 18350s, 900 milliamp here. What I have is the Lito Kala. Uh, I think this is used for our vapes, and it's really small, 18350. Uh, so expect a some shorter runtime for this remote controller compared to other bigger battery remote control so you have to place it here positive side here positive side there so there are two slots for your uh, battery okay okay so let's try to fire it up let's see what would happen okay let's place the battery okay charging Okay, let's discuss first uh, the quality of materials used. This is really made out of uh, probably just a plastic 
your typical plastic for controllers. Uh, nothing premium. Well, when it comes to functionality, Radio Master is really one of the good companies when it comes to remote controllers. Uh, no doubt, especially with TX16S. Uh, different hobbies use their uh, controllers um, and right now they are the cheaper ones the cheaper but with good feedback you have to uh, I'm not sure what these are for two sets here <laughs> not sure what they are for you have an antenna it's hidden that is your antenna. You can close it up as well if you don't need it. But uh, probably I would if I'm doing long range. You have your lanyard placed here. Now the grip is really good. I like the way they shorten the switches because uh, some switch is really long. This one is just long enough to be held especially when you do pinching here yeah. you it's really comfortable to use all right so far we already turned on the device and we charge it up to full charge just uh, just a while ago and you're trying to set up a new device so we can fly this up we can use this to fly the drone. Uh, we already set up. This as my arm switch. Out. And this is my mode. Flight mode horizon. Flight mode aqua. So, as you can see, that really, this has a lot of potential. This radio master zone, so without making it as heavy as a TX16S. And the settings are already all controlled in this tiny screen and it's readable especially if you have no light such as that See? so it's still readable especially in very bright light uh, we will try to set it up my so far my initial impression is that this is a well-built device uh, don't, just don't expect it to be made out of metal or any hard plastic. This is just, yeah, just cheap plastic. But what is important is the internal uh, capabilities of this radio controller. Uh, as you can see here, you can choose a lot of protocol for this device. Especially if you have an external module that you can put at the back. Now, there are other things that you can modify. You can adjust the gimbal play. If you think this is too much or this is too stiff, you can adjust those uh, screws to make it loose or make it tight. Uh, there are other accessories you can buy to make it uh, enjoyable for you uh, I was able to see online these are just uh, screws that you can put for your for example your 3d printed uh, accessories you can place it here you can also place those at this portion of the remote controller okay so far so good there's a speaker I can hear clearly whatever settings I am in um, well, that's all I can say about this. Read your master sorrow. Still, this is far better compared with the Beta FPV. Read your light 3. I cannot complain with this because this is as cheap as it can be. But for a fraction of additional money, you can already buy the Read your master sorrow with all of these capabilities. Also, you can use this not just on quadcopters, you can also use this on your plane, RC plane, you can also this, use this on your RC cars. So this is, this is the way to go without the heaviness of the TX-16S. 
Alright, so we will end the video here. Probably on the next video, I'll try to show you how to set up this uh, Radio Master Zorro because it would take up a lot of time just to explain how to use it. But see you in the next one. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please do subscribe. As always, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.